Whenever you watch a surviving a fall from some height video, you were always told that do not jump into water. Why is that? Is jumping into water from a high altitude so dangerous? In this video, I'll show you why they tell you it is dangerous and even if you have to, how can you do it without damaging yourself much? Subscribe and turn on notification. I upload animations on Sunday, tutorials on Tuesday and Pokemon Go videos on Thursday. This video is number 3 on surviving a situation series. Check out my other two video. Link will be at the end of this video. We will take four height points into consideration. First one is from a diving board or a diving platform that you see in big diving competitions like the Olympics. Next one will be from a cruise ship deck. Another one will be from a cliff. And the final one will be 30,000 feet or from an airplane. So, if you dive from a diving platform and fall into water, you will be completely okay. Olympic divers always do this. The height from the diving platform to the water surface is roughly 10 meters or 33 feet. From this height, water surface tension doesn't play a big role, so you can easily jump from this height and survive. Okay, now let's talk about cliff diving. People jump from cliffs every single day. While you are watching this video, there might be thousands of people who are jumping from a cliff right now. But the cliff height matters a lot. If someone is jumping from a cliff that is roughly 30 feet or 40 feet or even 50 feet tall, there is a 97% chance that you will be okay. But if you think you can handle a 70 feet cliff dive, well, think twice before you jump. Because from this height, when you fall, your velocity will be much higher when you reach the water surface. And a human doesn't have enough mass to clear out the surface tension of the water. So, it will feel like you have fallen on a sidewalk, not on the water. Same thing occurs when you jump from a cruise ship deck. The general height of a cruise ship deck is almost 154 feet from the surface of the water. A 154 feet jump into the water will most likely kill you. Imagine, you are on an airplane and for some reason the airplane's engine fails. All of the passengers started panicking and in the meantime you open up the emergency exit gates and jump from the plane without a parachute. You thought the sea is below me, if I jump into the water that might just save my life. You were absolutely wrong. Even if you can survive falling into water from a 200 feet, but you cannot survive falling into water from this high altitude. Now, what can you do to maximize your chances of survival? First tip is when you are jumping from 200 feet, do not take off your clothing. They will absorb some impact for you. Go feet first. Cross your legs at the ankles and clutch them together tightly. You don't want a high velocity seawater have your legs dislocated when you are forced into a full extension split by the impact. You will go deep. Stay tight until you quit falling down. Minimize your risk of hitting debris. Follow bubbles to get back to the surface. If it is too dark to see bubbles drift up, don't, you don't want to be swimming for the bottom thinking you are headed for the air. Unless it is an emergency, in the open sea you really should be jumping into known conditions. Any dive from height is dangerous, so always be careful when you are jumping from a high platform. That's all for this video and check out my other two videos right here. And I'll see you in another Canyon video.